In your programs, you will often assign a value to a variable like this. And you may also test the value of a variable like this. Often, programmers will describe both an assignment and a test for equality using the word equals. They might say grand total equals subtotal plus tax and if grand total equals zero. And that's where the confusion arises. You see, what you see here is a Ruby program. It's in the Ruby programming language. And in Ruby, as in many other languages, when I want to assign a value to a variable, I use a single equals sign. The equals sign is called the assignment operator. And when I want to test a value, I use two equal signs. Now, in this program, I use the equality test, two equal signs, to check if the value of grand total in this calculation is zero. And if so, I assign this message to the MSG variable and I display this item is free at the end of the program. Let's run it. I'm running this from the command prompt. Uh, it prompts me to enter a value. I'll put in 100. And so it displays thank you for your custom. But this time the test here grand total equals zero should determine that that is correct, that grand total is indeed zero, so a different assignment is made and it displays this item is free. But what if I make an accidental mistake? Let's go back to my code. What if, for instance, I put just a single equal sign in this test? Let's do that. Now it turns out that Ruby allows me to do this, but if I do it, Instead of testing the existing value of grand total here, I will end up by assigning a new value, the value here, 0, to it. Let's try that to see how this works. So I'll enter 100, and normally I would expect the tax to be calculated and the grand total to include the tax at the end of it. But as you can see, it doesn't do that. It tells me the item is free. And that's because having done the calculation up here and displayed the results, it then allows me to set the value of grand total back to zero inside the if test here. Now, some programming languages won't even warn you if you do this kind of thing. Most C compilers, for example, permit the assignment of a new value inside an if test, even though it is very unlikely that that is what the programmer intended. If you're using a C compiler that allows that, you will need to be very, very careful that you don't accidentally introduce bugs by assigning a value when you'd actually intended to test a value. At the other extreme from C is a language such as Pascal. Here you see that I've rewritten my program in Delphi Object Pascal. This is my tax calculator, it has its own little visual form in Delphi. I can add a number such as 100, and this time I'll display a message in the bar at the top, in, in the uh, caption area, and it says thank you for your custom, but if I enter zero, it says this item is free, and this is my Pascal code. The Pascal assignment operator is colon equals, and its testing operator is a single equals. But if I try to assign a value inside a test, let's try this here, well, you can see what happens. I get this red squiggly. In Delphi, that's an error. Type of expression must be Boolean. It must be a true or false value. You can't assign a new value inside it. So whereas this would be permissible in C, and it could also be done in Ruby, in Pascal, it's a mistake that has to be fixed or the program won't compile. Here I'm trying to run it. There are errors, and I have to fix them. As a general rule, no matter what language you are using, you should never assign a new value inside a test condition. But beware that in some languages, it is permissible to do so. So it's up to you to be careful that you use the correct operator in the correct place. Learn programming and the business of programming at www.bitwisecourses.com